Hello students, I am Manoj Kundare, the Assistant Professor of Electronic Science. Welcome back to our e-learning platform. In previous video, we have seen the details about the frequency division multiplexing. The link of the previous video is available in the description box. Please check it. Now, in this video, we are going to see the concept of wavelength division multiplexing. Wavelength division multiplexing or WDM is a technology which multiplexes a number of optical carrier signals into a single optical fiber by using different wavelengths that is colors of laser lights. That means in wavelength division multiplexing as the name implies the different wavelengths that means the different colors are multiplexes into a single channel. Okay. The wavelength division multiplexing enables bidirectional communication and multiplies signal capacity. Wavelength division multiplexing is a kind of frequency division multiplexing, a technique where optical signals with different wavelengths are combined, transmitted together and separated again. That means in wavelength division multiplexing, here the different signals and their wavelengths are multiplexed and transmitted over a single communication channel. Here, remember here that wavelength means the color of the signal. Okay. I hope you all know about that. The wavelength decides the color of the signal. Okay. Now, this is the basic diagram or the basic principle of wavelength division multiplexing okay in this diagram we can see here that there are four transmitters transmitter 1 2 3 and 4 each transmitter transmits a light or a signal having wavelength different that means transmitter 1 transmits the light or the signal having wavelength lambda 1 transmitter 2 transmits the signal having wavelength lambda 2 Transmitter 3 transmits the signal having wa wavelength lambda 3 and transmitter 4 transmits the wavelength having, lam uh, wa having wavelength lambda 4. Okay, here we can see that the lambda 1 wavelength is having color red, lambda 2 having yellow, lambda 3 having green and lambda 4 having blue. That means the different wavelength decides the different colors of the signal. These signals from the different sources are multiplexed in the multiplexer and transmitted on a optical fiber. Okay. Or they are multiplexed in a single communication channel and transmitted towards the receiver through a single optical fiber. At the receiver there is a demultiplexer block which demultiplexes the signal into the original signal and we get the original signal here at receiver 1, 2, 3 and 4. I hope you all understand the basic principle of this wavelength division multiplexing. Now let's see in details as shown in the figure each communication channel transmitters that means one transmitter 1, 2, 3, 4 is allotted to different frequency wavelengths lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 and lambda 4 and multiplexed into a single fiber. This is a single fiber. Okay. Here high carrier bandwidth is utilized to greater extent to transmit multiple optical signals through a single optical fiber to destinations. At the destination Wavelengths are separated using this demultiplexer block and delivered according to the different receiver locations. Okay. I hope you all understand the principle of wavelength division multiplexing. Now, let's see the next point. Types of WDM. There are mainly two types of WDM. First one is CWDM that means coarse wavelength division multiplexing. And second one is DWDM that means dense wavelength division multiplexing. In both the types the wavelength division multiplexing is performed. Here the diagram for CWDM and DWDM is shown. In this diagram we can 
clearly seen that in CWDM there are limited number of signals are transmitted that means there are total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 signals are transmitted and each signal apart from each other through a distance 20 nanometer okay while in DWDM the signals are compact or tightly bound and the distance between the two signal is 0 0.8 nanometer okay I hope you all understand the basic difference between CWDM and DWDM okay now let's see the detailed view about the CWDM and DWDM this first one is CWDM that means coarse wavelength division multiplexing CWDM operates with 8 channels that is 8 fiber optic cables which is called as C band or RBM window with the wavelength about 1550 nanometer the different wavelength of the different channels are 20 nanometer apart from each other here we have seen that these signals are 20 nanometer apart from each other okay now the CWDM is used for short range communication it uses wide range of frequencies and spreads wavelengths it consumes less energy than DWDM and is less expensive the next type is DWDM that means dense wavelength division multiplexing in DWDM systems the number of multiplex channels is much denser than, than CWDM because DWDM uses tighter wavelength spacing to fit more channels onto a single fiber that means here in this diagram we can clearly see that there are more signals are tightly combined with each other with the spacing 0 0.8 nanometer apart from each other okay now today's DWDM systems typically supports 96 channels spaced at 0 0.8 nanometer apart within the 1550 nanometer C band spectrum because of this DWDM system can transmit a huge quantity of data through a single fiber link as they allow for many more wavelengths to be packed onto the same fiber okay I hope you all understand the CWDM and DWDM system let's see the basic difference between CWDM and DWDM in CWDM wavelength division multiplexing system with maximum of 16 active wavelengths per fiber in DWDM system with maximum 160 active wavelengths per fiber it in CWDM it defined by wavelengths in DWDM it defined by frequencies and wavelength the CWDM designed for a shorter distance while the DWDM designed for the long haul transmission the CWDM wavelengths spread far apart while in DWDM wavelengths are tightly packed in CWDM the light signal is not amplified while in DWDM the light signal amplification may be used in CWDM system compact equipment and it is cost effective while DWDM system more costly to operate the CWDM system ability to transport up to 16 channels from 1270 nanometer to 1610 nanometer with a 20 nanometer channel spacing in DWDM system it ability to transport up to 80 channels with 100 gigahertz spacing and up to 160 channels with 50 gigahertz spacing in the C band spectrum with all channels in the 1550 nanometer area in CWDM system it breaks spectrum into large sections while in DWDM it breaks spectrum into smaller sections in CWDM its applications are 
in uncooled lasers used due to longer channel spacing while in DWDM cooled lasers may be used due to tighter control of wavelengths. I hope you all understand the basic difference between CWDM and DWDM. Now let's see some advantages of wavelength division multiplexing such as first one is the wavelength division multiplexing is easier to reconfigure. Full duplex transmission is possible. It provides higher bandwidth. The optical components are similar and more reliable. The wavelength division multiplexing has the highest security. This could be the best approach as it is simple to implement. These are the advantages of the wavelength division multiplexing. There are some disadvantages of WDM such as first one is signals cannot be very close. Light wave carrying while using WDM are limited to two point circuit. Third one is cost of the system increases with the addition of optical components. Fourth one is difficulty in wavelength tuning. Fifth disadvantage is insufficiency in bandwidth utilization and sixth disadvantage is difficulty in a cascaded topology. I hope you all understand the advantages and disadvantages of wavelength division multiplexing. Thank you.